So now I have to actually catch the legends. So that's gonna be annoying. Eternatus? All right, let's do some Eternatus stuff. So I'm really interested in trying out Eternatus just because of this. If we look at like the HP stats of Pokemon, like Eternatus is up there. You know, we got Blissey, Chansey, Guzzlord, Zygarde. Zygarde's gonna be kind of nasty. Uh, Regidrago, Wobbuffet, Whale Lord, Snorlax. Giratina is a little higher, but it's not as offensive and fast. Drifblim, and then we have Eternatus. So Eternatus is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's almost top ten HP stats, just out of top ten. So I'm really, I'm really interested in that. Um, S. Okay. <laughs> so what I want to do, he can't Dynamax is the thing, but I feel like Screens Lapras wouldn't be awful. Tornadus, Lapras, probably like, these don't seem too bad together. I could also use Whimsicott. Hold on. Whimsicott might be better just for fake tears plus Eternus. That could be awesome. Um, Yeah, I want to do that, actually. Hold on. That could be cool. Hmm. Do I want to run Misty Will Fire, though? Or just Flamethrower, if anything. But also Protect is tempting. Like, a lot of things are really tempting here. I've been using Hitmontop to great success. That could be interesting. I kind of want to see Hitmontop in the format. Uh, I got a bunch of Legends from Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. If you need to hit me up. Oh, for sure. All right. So I think Whimsicott Lapras could be good, especially since I'm running Life Orb Lapras. I could also run Screens Lapras, to be honest, but I feel like the Life Orb is going to be a little bit better. And the reason I'm doing Eternatus Lapras is because they just seem so nasty next to each other. And on top of that, Eternatus doesn't Dynamax, so I'm able to run this thing pretty much freely. I don't want to play in a meta where Calyrex Shadow Rider is allowed. Are you ready? Ready? You want to see how you deal with uh, Calyrex Shadow Rider? There you go. <laughs> There's your Calyrex Shadow Rider. Check. These. These will do it. Any one of them, really. Not like any one of them, but the majority of them. Yeah, Mystical Fire could be good. Ooh, hold on. Could Moltres be good on this build? I think Moltres might be kind of... Moltres might be kind of nasty on this build. I could also go in Sin, though. And Sin might be better, just overall. Um, I mean, I don't have a weakness policy anywhere. I could just go Moltres. I might go Moltres. It's, it's going to be nice for the Shadow Rider stuff, so... Weakness policy. Seems looking a bit frail for my liking, despite the fact I have these three, but it just feels frail on the surface. I need a rock resist for certain, so a steel type isn't looking too bad. Um, I guess stack attack would be pretty cool for like a trick room mode. Moltres looking snazzy. Moltres Lando is what I'm thinking. Yeah, actually Moltres Lando wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be bad at all. I, I want to steal though, because I feel like this team's definitely missing a steel type. I mean, like, obviously it's missing a steel type, but it's definitely wanting a steel type, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm tempted to go stack attacka. Bronzong might not be bad, though. Just for levitate and trick room. I can have, like, a more offensive steel type. Let's take a look at Bronzong. See what it offers. I mean, obviously I want trick room. Uh, gyro ball. Trick room gyro ball. Spread ice move is broken. That could be, yeah, that could be kind of crazy. Heatran, ooh. Heatran could be nice, but I come, I'm kind of digging like the super defensive options I got here, you know? And I don't want, I don't want like a huge ground weakness by having Eternatus and Heatran on the same team. Um, I could go with like an Ultra Beast, like just a nice, powerful Ultra Beast or something that's just kind of gross under Trick Room. Why don't I just go Glacier? I could just go Glacier on this, to be honest. It's still allowed. Like I don't need to stop using Glacier on Trick Room. Pretty much a Calyrex. Hmm. I'm trying to think about what would be nasty on Trick Room. Wide Guard Galisopod. I mean, I I feel like the time to use Galisopod is past. I like Galisopod, but I feel like his time is past. Hmm. I definitely want a fire type. You know, I got water, fire, grass, if I do that. Um I have a fairy, a dragon, a steel. Why not? Why not? Well, let's see what fire types we have. We have on the plate. Torkoal could be decent. 
I can see Torkoal being somewhat decent. Yeah, Calyrex is faster, so there's still a reason to use Glacier. True. This team's definitely missing a physical attacker, so I could go Cinderace or something. But then I don't actually have, like, a good Trick Room Pokemon, you know? Music's a little loud right now. Thanks for the follow, Junior Jam. I can try Marowak. Marowak wouldn't be awful, especially next to the Lapras. Hey, Scene Diddy, thanks for the subscription, man. Welcome to the Boosted Boys. So I guess things are getting pretty serious now, I guess. <laughs> Alright, um... I don't know, I'm kind of feeling the Alola Whack. Like, if I'm going with a Trick Room mode, that wouldn't be bad. My Groudon matchup looks okay, actually. My, it doesn't look awful. Hey, thanks for the bits, man. Because Groudon matchup, I can just, like, Tailwind max water and then hit him with like a or even just max resonance i might do that um i'm gonna try this out i'm gonna try this out first i want to run some defensive calcs first though um maybe i can make it so eternatus somehow lives a hit from groudon i might want to try regieleki on this build at some point but uh let's hop into the damage calc Damage Calc. Let me take a look at Eternatus. And Groudon. Maybe I can live like a minus one hit or something. Because if I can... I mean, it does get Breaking Swipe, doesn't it? It doesn't. Okay, that's disappointing. I can't like Dynamax it, so I can't go for whatever, you know? Um, a Lucky Moltres is so good for Calyrex. It will be really good for Calyrex, yeah. All right, uh, damage calc. Oh, I was already there. I'm an idiot. Now VGC, thanks for the follow, man. Is this even possible? Because I'm running enough speed for Naganadel, because I feel like that might be a thing. 191. So I'm 188 timid right now. Hey, thanks to the host. Earth, yeah, thanks to the host, man. 188. Um, Groudon. Ch -ch -ch Crespus Blade. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm already, like, almost living that. What? What? Oh, my. Hold on. This is kind of gross. What does it cost to live that hit? A small price for salvation. Look at that. Look at that. That costs nothing. That costs absolutely nothing. 76 defense? Okay. I mean, that 140 HP goes a long way. It goes a long way, but what's the chances, like, Choice Bang route on? I don't know. Hmm. Let's just throw that in there so I don't forget about it. 76. Um, how much am I doing with Dynamax Cannon? Because Dynamax Cannon's like so strong versus this guy. I, I definitely think we're going to see like Groudon Tapu Fini on occasion. That could be annoying. It'd be cool if I can get it to be a two shot. I think I'd have to go Modest for that to work. So maybe I will end up going Modest. It would allow me to be a bit more defensive if I lower my speed threshold. Because I could just decrease this to be a two shot, right? And then I can, I might decrease my speed a bit, just a bit. Because I, do I really need to outspeed Naganadel in particular when I have Tailwind? I don't think so. I think I might just focus on the defenses. All right. So 172 modest is enough for that. There it is. It's funny that you can burn Grotta. That's such an interesting like thing that happened out of nowhere. Like when, at what point were we allowed to burn Grout on? When did that happen? Like it just kind of happened one day. You know, I just had a better idea. I just had a better idea. There we go. That's a better team already. <laughs> that just seems like a better team now. Um, I definitely want to outspeed. I think if I go modest, I can outspeed under Tailwind, right? What's the Calyrex speed? Let me check something. This is pretty much the upper echelon of speed tiers now. 222, so I need to hit 
112. I think I hit that at max. Yeah, that's literally just the right amount. Because I can't hit 111, I'd just speed tie. Okay, so are we, we're going to run max speed Lapras, I guess. <laughs> Probably not. I don't think that's worth outspeeding. Maybe I'll just go like 107 for Dragapult. Maybe. We'll see. Depends how well I can wall out Shadow Rex, you know? Um, as far as speed tiers go, I want to figure out what I want to outspeed naturally with this Eternatus. There are a couple of things I would want to outspeed. Like, Tapu Koko's off the list now because I'm speed tying with him at max. I think we can go... Hmm. I think I might just go a slower... A slower um, Eternatus spread. Maybe I'll just outspeed base 110s. Or base 111. I might as well outspeed Genies. I feel like Thunderous is still going to be a huge thing. Uh, so what's Thunderous max speed? Outspeeding Genies isn't a terrible idea. 180. Eh, that's a lot. <laughs> I like how I'm like, oh, I'm going to outspeed this. And I'm like, eh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Just out to be base 100. Yeah, I mean, that's not a terrible idea if I want to go bulk, but... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Let me do some Shadow Rex calcs. Calyrex, Shadow. Because I don't really care about the Groudon calc anymore. I already know I live. Um, these things are typically Sash, if I remember. And Timid. I don't think I'm ever going to live like a life orb hit from this thing if it dynamaxes, but they like to run expanding horse. Expanding horse. And dynamaxed. Yikes. Okay, that's tough. That's a tough hit. What if I just get hit by like a raw psychic? I mean, I live that naturally. Maybe I will just go enough for base 100s. Hmm. I might do that. Or at least Kartana, so I can flamethrower that thing. Is that even necessary, though? By the way, I already have an Arcanine spread. Where is it? There it is. I already know I want to run this Arcanine spread. Alright. What mon should we be looking out for when we're doing calcs? I would say Kyogre... Um, was it? Kyogre, Shadow Rex... Shadow Rex is Calyrex, of course. Um, Eveltal, especially, is a huge one. Those are kind of the big three right now, I would say. Hmm. I might go enough for Kartana. Just to protect the Lapras a bit. If that's even necessary. Probably not. Probably not, actually. I just do base 100s. If I'm running this thing with Prankster freaking Whimsicott, the speed is negligible. Especially when I'm hitting 130 naturally. Alright, so a base 100 hits what at Timid? It hits, um, just too jolly. 168. That gives me a lot to work with. A lot more EVs to be defensive with. The 169. Okay, 112 EVs just to, like, dump into HP or whatever. I could, like, do that and probably be done with the day, to be honest. Um, so 148. I wouldn't say Calyrex Ice is the biggest threat. It's definitely a threat, but I don't think it's the biggest one right now. I think that the way that these things usually go is the bulkier team with the better pilot usually does better. Hyper Offense is really tough to play when your opponent can just wall you out, if that makes sense. Alright, Calyrex Shadow. 52. Timid. Just increase the HP a bit. Alright, that lets me live a Psychic. I might honestly just call it a day with that and just roll with it. I like how that's literally exactly what I need to live at. Okay. I might call it a day with that for the Eternatus. As far as this thing goes, I'm tempted just to go max max. So I can... I can use this versus Calyrex Shadow, maybe. It'd be cool if I could two-shot it 
Since I'm running Life Orb, that might be possible. Uh, probably not, actually, because Alaric Shadow is 100-100. So, Lapras. Vault set. I'm running a Life Orb Modest one. I definitely don't want to get like two shot by this thing. I mean, there's no way I'm going to two shot it with max resonance. But I could wall it out. Hypothetically, I think at least. Um... And if I outspeed it, that could be pretty huge. Because I'm, I'm going to run 252 just to make sure I outspeed it at plus two, I think. I might do that. It might be an awful play, but I can decrease the offenses. So if I'm outspeeding it, I'll be able to get a resonance up, which means I can do some calcs with the resonance. So where's resonance? Uh, it's technically just both of these. So we'll just do that. The max mines. Oh my God, that does nothing. Why does that do nothing? Okay, that's kind of nasty. Hold on. Resonance calcs are the future. This thing is going to be the best. This thing is actually going to be the best. Why aren't people... You, you got to use Lapras already. No. Lapras is going to be the best. All right. Um, Let's skip over that real quick. I want to one-shot Groudon. I want to see if I can one-shot Groudon. Hey, thanks for the subscription, bubs. Welcome back. I mean, non-Dynamaxed, I can one-shot with... What is that? That's Sheer Cold. I'm using Freeze Dry, so we have to use this one. Okay, 116. We are one-shotting non-Dynamax Groudon and also just straight up walling it. Look at that. <laughs> okay, all right. No, this thing's going to be gross. This thing's actually going to be gross. I could just dump it into HP if I really wanted to. Uh, Calyrex. Shadow. Timid. 252. So it's running Astral Barrage, Psychic. We'll just do, oh, it's usually Expanding Force. Dynamaxed. I mean, I just wall it out already. I could just give it enough. So it's, uh, I, I, I honestly just might dump it at HP. We'll call it a day with that. Sometimes you can just do really simplistic calcs and be fine with it. I might just, that might just be my goal today. Just very simple calcs. Lapras is a queen. Hey, thanks for the follow, M Dubs. And I'm definitely running Water Absorb just to get free switch ins on Kyogre teams. That'd be so cool. Sash, of course. Uh, Prankster, we're gonna wanna run. Protect, Tailwind, Fake Tears. And I could run Giga Drain, but I could also run just Moonblast. I think Moonblast will net me the most. Uh, we'll just do that. Now, stack attack is going to be really annoying to make a spread for. How much special attack do I have on Lapras? 116. It's just enough so I one-shot max HP Groudon with uh, Freeze Dry. What Pokemon will be, will be banned for Series 8? Literally just mythical Pokemon. So like Zarude, Mew, that sort of thing. Melmetal. You can use things like Eternatus and Zacian and stuff, but uh, it's one per team. Black Sludge Eternatus might be the wave. It might be the wave. Hmm. Am I running the right berry here? Yeah. So these guys are the only two I really have to make EV spreads for. I'm definitely going to run, you know, the essentials here. Nasty Plot. What was it? It was Nasty Plot. Um, I can't remember your only good move. Fiery Wrath. There it is. Hurricane. Eh, I'm more of an Air Slash guy, actually. I hate missing. And uh, Protect. Just the standard set there. Thanks to the follow skips. Hmm. 
How fast do I make you? Maybe I don't run that. Maybe I could run Taunt on you, actually. Because I don't have Taunt on this guy. And I want to keep Protect. Do I really need Taunt? I mean, I have a Trick Room mode. My Trick Room mode's pretty awesome. Or a Warrior, thanks for the follow. Hmm. Let me open up Cerebi. Just so I can like get an idea of like the Pokemon that I'm I, I'm gonna forget like certain Pokemon, so I'm just gonna open up the list. Um My Kyogre matchup's already phenomenal. I guess Zacian is something I haven't really been preparing too hard for. Hey, thanks for the bits, bubs. Fix Lapras spread. Alright, let's, let's check this out. Hmm, 116. Yeah, tell me what it does. I mean, I was just, I was just going for a very simple spread for now, and I would like mess with it later. But you gotta tell me what that does. Uh, do do do. I mean, I definitely want to run a Shuka on you. I could even run safety goggles. Safety goggles might not be bad. Do I run nasty plot? I think I run nasty plot. Yeah. We'll go safety goggles. Trick room. Rock slide. Gyro ball. And uh, either body press or protect. I think I'm leaning towards body press. And I, I always feel good when a decent amount of Pokemon on my team are able to run protect. I just feel a lot more comfortable with the team, you know? Yeah, Burning Jealousy um, does affect Intrepid Sword on switching. I originally had that on this Arcanine spread, but I I don't know. I just prefer the Will-O-Wisp. It's less prediction reliant. Like, I, I, you know, I can miss it, but I just prefer landing the Will-O-Wisp. Does Wicked Bliss to land a critical hit on Shell Armor? It does not. However, I just want to be able to switch in on Kyogre for free. Because even though... It reduced life or recoil, hoods the benchmark for Groudon. Okay, cool. I'll take that. I will take that cow can use it then. So what was that? 28, 100, 12. Cool. Alright. Um I need to do calcs for you two. And then we're set. Moltres. I mean, this team has a decent ice weakness, I would say, but I think between Lapras, Arcanine, and Stack Attack, I'm probably fine. Like that, that thought just came to mind. Like, how do I beat? How do I beat certain things? Um. Yeah. All right. So wrong Moltres. Caloric Shadow. I would like to one shot you. I would like to one shot you. Certainly. I could even run Snarl on you, but I think the Snarl is better on the Arcanine. I don't know. Hey, Ash, thank you so much for the subscription. All right, Caloric Shadow. Usually just running like four. Non-Dynamax, Fiery Wrath. I mean, I nearly two shot you. And more bits. Thank you so much, Cosmic Power Returnus. I almost thought about that. I almost thought about Cosmic Power Returnus, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that. I felt like the setup wasn't worth it. Um, Dynamax, obviously I'm one-shotting. Hmm. I think I want to run max speed just to tie with like Kyogre and stuff. I could just do max max and call it a day there. Because right now isn't about building the most complex team. Right now is about building a functional team. And the reason that is because the meta has not developed yet. We have no practice for this particular type of meta game. So just building a practical team is best now. And then as the meta develops, we can actually get around to refining the calcs and stuff, you know? Stack Attacka, I will want to refine you, though. Um, so, against Groudon, I would like it if minus one P-Blades could not knock me out. I don't even think that's possible. It might be possible, actually. Dang, minus one Max Quake doesn't knock out Stack Attacka. What happened there? Hello? Let me refresh this. I feel like that just isn't right. Stack Attacka. Groudon, 
I think I just didn't have any attack investment. No, I do. Okay. Okay, there we go. Minus one. Okay. Sometimes, like, the calc will, like, freeze up and give me weird numbers. So I'm already always living that. Uh, what if I gave it, like, I don't know. Life orb. What if we see, like, Lorb Groudon? I'm definitely not running Brave. I want to run a defensive one, so... Relaxed. That is an expensive calc. That is most certainly an expensive calc. So much you have to put in. Not to die. In fact, you can't. Okay. So, we're not going to calc for Lorb. We'll just burn that and call it a day. Uh, minus one we'll calc for... <laughs> Which we're already living. Um, what about Zacian? Zacian. Round. Close combat, we're not living at plus one. What about minus one? We might be able to do that. I am not running 252, 252. <laughs> I don't think people are going to run close combat, to be honest. Hmm. What other Pokemon do I have to worry about? Is that a haircut? Yeah. Talk for Zamazenta. I will never calc for Zamazenta in my life. Body press. Dude, body press is so good. I might just do max max, whatever. Eh. I mean, do I need relax to live that? Maybe I can actually do. I don't like attack boosting stack attack. I really don't. I feel like it's such a waste of a Pokemon overall. Hmm. Let me think. What if I ran policy on my stack? I don't think I want to run policy on my stack, but what if I did? How would that work out for me? Okay, so I am living that. Whatever. We'll just go policy stack because it's funny. Er, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm too scared of Amoongus. I'm really scared of Amoongus. We'll keep safety goggles. Is there any particular like earth power Pokemon I should be thinking about right now? Maybe Max Quake from Calyrex is something I need to worry about. Not really. Whatever. Let's just do this. Whatever. <laughs> Brand new webcam, baby! And let's uh, ready up for this match. Okay, so we're facing... See what I tell you, Indeedy Calyrex. I told you guys. Brand new webcam, baby! There we go. BLHF. <laughs> Alright. And we'll just go Whimsicott Lapras. Uh, in the back here, I definitely think that Eternatus is still going to be good if I can wait to the end game. And stack attack, it could be decent. Could be decent. They let me trick room on them. Moltres might be better. Go Moltres. The reason I'm not leading off with Moltres is just because I don't want to immediately lose to Regieleki. I mean, I'd rather have Lapras eat the hit, you know? We're doing a live unboxing of this webcam. Alright. Go full screen. What's good? Everything. I know I'm going to use Palkia, but I need to worry about Eternus. I don't think Eternus is going to be that popular. I don't think I'm going to popularize it or anything. Yo, webcam. Alright, so they end up going with Aleki Incineroar. 
That's fine. I'm just gonna switch in the Eternatus and protect. Like, what, what do they got for a well-played Eternatus? Ooh, I should have gave it enough speed so at plus two I'm faster than Regieleki. Now nah, they're probably not max, you know? Seems like a pretty good webcam. It was cheap, right? But it was 1080p, so whatever. Gets the job done. Just midstream, I'm gonna upgrade the camera quality after this match. That did like a lot. That is definitely specs. That is very specs. Okay, I'm not gonna. I mean, I can't Dynamax this thing, obviously. Um. That is very specs. 169. I should be faster in this thing when I Dynamax. Or when I Tailwind, so I'm just gonna Tailwind. Um, or I could... I'd rather just delete it. I'm pretty certain that's specs, if you did that much to Eternatus. I'm willing just to fake tears, and then next turn I can Tailwind. As long as they don't double into Whimsicott, I should be fine. They might double my Eternatus, but if I can do this... Okay, and I'm gonna be faster than the Incineroar, so... Yeah, that is... that is specs. That is specs. So I can Tailwind now. Pretty safely, in fact. You know, unless the real boom comes in, in which case I just get back my Sash. I don't want to lose the first match. I want to go at least one win in this in this little session, you know? Um, I should be able to Tailwind now. And probably get in Moltres. I think that's safe. I have like full special attackers is the issue. <sighs> Dang. I mean, I am Life Orb, right? Maybe I just let Eternatus go down in Tailwind. I think I'll do that. And I'll Dynamax Cannon this thing. Okay, cool. That's fine. Lapras comes in now. So does Moltres. And Incineroar is not faster than me. They should protect this thing. They should, at the very least. I'm going to Geyser. Watch them be Assault Vest. No, well, no, they're Life Orb. They got... Yeah, there's the Protect. I don't one-shot, but I'm fine now. I'm going to Nasty Plot up, and now I can go for my Resonance. I don't need to knock out Incineroar yet. There we go. There's their Snarl. They're just a snarling machine today. There's the Moltres. All right, there's the Rillaboom. I'm just gonna Nasty Plot again. I don't care. Uh, and I will Resonance Rillaboom because Incineroar is just a free KO at this point. Okay, cool. Air Slash, because, you know, because <laughs> reasons, and I can Hydro Pump. All right, GG, well played. Nice. Get a nice little win there. Go for the Air Slash. Sludge Bomb. Get a Dynamax Cannon. <laughs> but we get a nice uh, little W there. Who is next? It's always big tournaments when when um, new formats come out. So one, two, three, four, five. There are five matches left. Ready up. Okay, so we have Tailwind Whimsicott. As long as they don't lead off with the Thunderous, this is kind of free. I'm gonna go with the same lead. Eternatus is still very good in this matchup. Uh, and I'm kind of tempted to go Moltres again. Oh, snap, wrong team, HF. <laughs> you too. Yeah, I'm better off with Moltres here. Thunderous Kyogre is kind of crazy. That's scary. I will say that. I will say that's a very scary lead. I think for that reason, I actually shouldn't lead off the way I just did. I'll go Eternatus, Whimsicott, Lapras in the back, Moltres. I like how we have one physical attacker. Is this the real Mox boost of EGC? Yeah.
Thank you. I feel like Ludi Kingdra is the way to go with Ogre. Eh, it just... I don't know. It feels very mid. I'm kind of tempted to Tailwind and Dynamax Cannon. Good luck in IC. Hey, thank you. Let me think. I'll just get in Lapras and... Uh, I could match their Tailwind, to be honest. I don't think it's worth it. I think I get more out of the fake tears. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just fake tears. They went for their tailwind. That's fine. Uh, I don't think they're gonna stay in. So I'm somewhat tempted to switch out. And I get a late Tailwind, which is nice. As long as they're not Taunt, I should be able to do this. I don't see them Dynamaxing when Lapras is on this side of the field. Hey, okay. That's fine. Oh, they paralyzed me. Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me, man. Okay. Um... I mean, I don't want to take an Ice Beam anymore. I might have to sack Eternatus because of that. Sludge Bomb. Boom Blast. That kind of sucks. They could Ice Beam me, and it would probably KO. I'm more concerned about Whimsicott than anything, really. And I should outspeed here, so... Oh, I don't. <laughs> I forgot, they have Tailwind up too. Luckily, Moltres is immune to this, so... It's it's like immune to fake tier stuff, right? So I might actually just do this. He can't fake tiers me. This might be an awful play, it might be a decent play. I'm just hoping it'll work out for me in the end. <laughs> he can't fake tiers me is the point. He could Moon Blast me, but I'd only benefit from that since I would 100% KO the Kyogre. And if they're modest, which I feel like if you're running Tailwind, you're probably modest. It's the Indeedy female. All right. So I can't go for that, but... Hmm. That hurt. I'm very focused now. <laughs> All right, I should be able to Tailwind. I'm just extremely focused on this. <laughs> Nah, alright, GG, well played. Yeah, that paralysis on my Eternatus was kind of really bad for me. It just kind of created a situation where there was no way I was going to come back. Oh well. I definitely think this team has some potential.